Today I will talk a little bit about our application. The main goal of the application is to create a site where users can upload and look for scientific papers. But we focus on the less obvious features of the application in this video. Users will be able to log in using Twitter, LinkedIn or Facebook. But this is not mandatory. This way the user can import their contacts and see which of their followers or friends is using this application as well. After a user signed up, he or she will be presented with their own personalized homepage. As we can see here, this page will allow the user to add specific widgets to this page, kind of like what Google did with iGoogle, but then strictly using scientific oriented widgets. For example, a widget which contains the last three added papers within a specific field or a list of users who follow the current user. This allows our user to feel right at home and to have all the information they need on one main site. The goal is to release an API as well, which can be used to make custom widgets or to extend the application with other functions or new application clients. This idea is based on the Twitter API. We also wondered why someone would join our site and we came up with a way to motivate users to use our application. The custom homepage was a small step in this direction, but the main way to do this is by using Google AdSense. With Google AdSense, we can put Google Ads on our website. These ads are accompanied by a unique code. For every click on one of these ads, the user linked to this specific code will get a small amount of money from Google. This means that whenever a user uploads a paper, someone reads it, the reader will see the Google Ads and the uploader will receive money for all his hard work. This could also be achieved by the Amazon Affiliate Program. Now, let's get back to the storyboard. We notice three main tabs. Profile, Papers and Events. The first screen shows the user's homepage, as we talked about before. When a user clicks the Paper tab, he will see screen 2. Here, he will see a search box and a list of all the papers recently uploaded by his followers. Clicking a paper will bring him to screen 3. Here, he can see the paper in PDF format. Left of the paper, a few recommendations, recommendations of other papers he might like. And the Google Ads. If he decides to search a paper, he will arrive at screen 4. Here, he can see the search results and a preview of his selected paper. This gives the opportunity to quickly browse through papers. Our last step is the event step. If we click this, we will see a list of events. For example, a conference and information about the selected event, including for example, the date, place and other useful information. Well, I hope you had a main idea of what our application will be capable of and keep reading the blog.